Hey guys, welcome to a, another commentary done by Diggity. This is BSL Hasu League round of 16, Group A by Axter going up against Monkey Toss, aka SOS Toss. Upper left hand corner, we got by Axter starting as the Teal Pro Toss. Bottom right hand corner, we got Monkey Toss. I'm just going to go with Monkey Toss starting as the Purple Pro Toss. This is on Lobotomy, which uh, a little bit nuts, honestly. Like, I, this is, so you got, this is going to be my introduction to the map as well. There, people have complained about Biagster lagging here and there because of his location in the Philippines, by the way. Uh, so you got a huge, huge open main. Natural expansion, a little bit of a choke right there. Low ground third, but exposed from a lot of angles. And you can see where Siege Tank's back here, or units that can storm or drop spells over that edge could be devastating. You have a more protected third this direction. Uh, but you have a ramp leading up to it, so a little bit easier to defend. That is that a full gas? Let's see if that's a full gas. Can't click on it for some reason, so we'll ignore it for now. Can I click on that gas? Okay, that's twenty. This is a lower gas as well, so that's twenty-five hundred. That's a five thousand. So this is kind of a more exposed, less gas intensive base. You have this small corridor choke kind of point that can leak. You. So it's challenging to get into the middle of the map. Because your units threading through, uh, they have to just go through these little tiny holes. And so you really got to be on top of your army movement to make it work there. And then on other locations, you have kind of the, you, you've got odd looking ramps other directions. This is my first time seeing the map. We'll see how it plays out. Kind of interesting. This area is very confusing, honestly. Because uh, I'm not sure when that'll come into play. And we do have bases in the top left, top right. Otherwise, anyway, sorry I missed... Potentially, so let's sink back down. Zooming back around, it looks like we do have the double gate opener. Uh, from Monkey Toss by Axtra opening up Cybernetic Score. I believe this is two player. So just scouting straight across both directions. One interesting play here is if, as a defense against honestly two gate, if by Axtra wants to get really creative about it, you could drop a pylon or something here. You could drop stuff here, and that would uh, delay any sort of push. The Zealot initially marching out, coming back, wants to get some damage done on the probe. The probe sees the two gates, walks right back out, and for whatever reason, that Zealot... I don't know what it was thinking. We've got... Zealot got the probe kill. Ooh, that's unfortunate. Got the probe kill, and we had a defensive pylon to potentially block in the Dragoons. In the meantime, probe waiting... Hanging out, getting some damage done. That is going to wipe out that probe, but we got too much, too more, too much, two more zealots loose. An assimilator has dropped in the meantime, but this pylon's going to get wiped out for Monkey Toss. This was, considering it's not doing anything for him, that's a pretty sizable 100 mineral loss fairly early in this match. Dragoon making its way out is going to be able to engage that initial zealot before it's making its way down, taking a few shots in the face before microing back out. The Zealot's going to be able to join, and unfortunately, yeah, the Zealot, not alongside... It is an inverted ramp, keep in mind, but the Zealot's not alongside his friends, and so having to retreat, and now it's a lot of time lost. The more time he's sitting in here, like, trying to deal with this Dragoon on the exterior, the more time it is for that second uh, Dragoon to come up, and this is now becoming a very favorable fight for Byaxter. So by are doing some great micro thus far. The, we got one Dragoon that's heavily damaged. This Zealot for... Oh, it's heavily damaged himself, so he's going to peel off right this second to preserve. So nice bit of micro there from by Axter. And this second Zealot, is he going to be able to get some worker kills? So not as only he not going to get some worker kills. I was actually... Oh, he got one worker kill there. I was actually thinking about this recently, where part of the aspect of this is not just the fact that you need to get worker kills in this. You actually do need to... And we did fi see a five Zealot dedication, by the way. Two additional Zealots. Walking the way up. Let's see if Byaxter makes the fatal mistake of over dedicating Dragoons in a counterattack to the natural expansion, which would be very tempting here because it is an inverted ramp. He is moving out, but oh, look at this monkey toss over dedicating too rapidly. If he had waited a little bit, he might have been able to sneak those zealots right in and create some additional damage. Which reminds me, I want to take the map reveal off. It's like, what am I missing here? I'm missing something. And that's all going to get cleaned up easily. 
So now it's an inverted ramp to try to pull out of, and we got Monkey Toss in emergency mode, dropping the Templar Archives, and two Photon Cannons, but this is low ground Photon Cannons. So the low ground Photon Cannons may not help against the high ground Dragoons, because there's basically the misfire chances in their favor, and we got an another Zealot being built. So now we got a bunch of Dragoons marching out. As I was going to say, with the two gate opening, one aspect I was thinking about as far as, yeah, you want to have the high ground to provide some defense for you as far as turnarounds like this. But the other aspect is, is if you have, if you're dedicating the Zealots early, you need to do it quickly. <clears throat> or what I mean to do is, is if you're going to lose the Zealots early, you need to buy yourself some time. Because the, the faster your opponent clears your Zealots and the less damage he takes, the higher their, the odds of a counterattack. So right now, Monkey Toss dedicating some workers to try to defend this. We got a bunch of Dragoons out in the forward field. We have a Nexus dropping. This still might be a win for Monkey Toss because he's got that Templar Archives building and two Dark Templar are about, are about to field. We do have a Cybernetics Karen, uh, Photon Cannon dropping right there. We don't have a Photon Cannon yet at the Natural Expansion. And the first two Dark Templar are making the way out. It looks like they were spotted by Biaxter. So nice bit of micro right there to spot them and he's gonna try to trail. And this is the other aspect. If he can hurry up, he can at least block a Dark Templar if he can march to that gap. And it looks like there was a cancellation. The Dragoons are gonna go ahead and pile back. That Photon Cannon's gonna be finished here. A Robotics getting dropped as well and a second Photon Cannon just in case. So it looks like that gap getting ignored. And one Dark Templar making its way across. It'll get at least a free pile on, and at least that denies the natural expansion, but still the worker count. Full worker saturation for, for Biaxia right now. Now letting those Dark Templar to go, uh, go ahead and fold in to hopefully wipe them out fairly rapidly. Big volley fire right there. Monkey Toss needs to be a little careful on the perimeter. There's still things to, to potentially attack, but he needs to be very, very wary. Because right there, one Dark Templar getting taken out, the second one taking a lot of damage, and these two cannons providing a lot of coverage. Natural Expansion grab, a very honestly ambitious Natural Expansion grab from Monkey Toss. Two cannons on the low ground, more Dark Templars getting built. So maybe with some scattered Dark Templars out around the field, he can buy himself a good amount of time. He's going to get that pile on, is holding there, but we have a Citadel of a Dune dropping a Templar Archives, I expect to see two more gateways. You could, uh, Biaxer could work it off the three gate, potentially, but as soon as he has two observers, he'll be able to cover his main and get aggressive towards this natural. So what Monkey Toss needs to do, okay, he's dropping two cannons, so he's gonna just try to hope that Biaxer doesn't have a, a counter to this and that he can surge that economy pretty rapidly. He is researching uh, Psy Storm and getting some high Templar out, but massive supply lead in the meantime for Biaxer and once these observers are in play, it's going to be very, very difficult. He does have these Dark Templar kind of pocketed in locations where they can do the the late damage. And if Biaxter gets overly aggressive and does not keep some troops back, Monkey Toss could sneak in and get some worker kills. But as soon as that second observer pops, it's even with fewer troops dedicating towards the front, it'll be a challenge here. Because keep in mind, not only was there all of that damage early, and it we're still at a, an anemic 23 workers, there were four cannons dedicated to all of this, which is not attack units. So just four cannons overall, a Nexus immediately getting dropped, the second Observer out, and as long as these three Dragoons hang out, oh, by Axter, getting overly ambitious now. So the Observer going to sit over the natural expansion. These Dark Templar now making their way in like the villains that they are. And immediately going to so kill the probe by actually you can even see the observer floating around like ah crap and he doesn't have anything he's gonna have to wait for a round of additional troops is he even gonna cancel the nexus it looks like he's last second canceling the pylon is not canceling the nexus is just buying time and now it's just gonna crash the natural expansion problem for monkey tosses ooh nice side storm right there if he side storms the observer that would be huge if he, observer right in the wings He's got maybe one more Psy Storm and he hasn't really wiped out a lot. And it looks like the Dragoons now engaging the Dark Templar at the natural expansion. They're gonna back out. So that's gonna be a dead natural for Monkey Toss. Losing additional workers, so he's still further behind. The Dark Templar marching in, trying to do what they can, but there's still the latent cannons there to provide some defense. We're able to take out some troops, but he's once again boxed in <clears throat> to a single base. 
and otherwise economically behind. Does have a slight tech lead with these High Templar. I'm not sure how long that's going to last, though. Citadel of Adun up. Plus one weapons just about finished. We do have three gateways versus production versus four on the opposite end. So there is an opportunity for Monkey Toss to rebuild his army. Unfortunately, at the 17 worker count, he really needed to be, usually want to be more at the 25 rung to make it happen. Monkey Toss trying to sneak his way out while the Dark Templar are coming, sweeping in from the rear, hoping that the Observer was out of position. The Observer moving a little bit into cannon range. It's wiped out. And now this has got to be super annoying for Byaxter because now the Dark Templar are going to be able to take swats at this army as it retreats all the way back to the natural there. Will be an observer in Dragoons waiting, however. Back at that position, but they're going to have to, yeah, fall back all the way. So unnecessary losses here. Oh, this is maybe, uh, if you remember round one, punishment for by Hexter's play in the initial stages of the match. Another worker actually moving out to maybe even grab a third in the midst of this. The Observer waiting. Plus one weapons is finished, and this is just more troops. The Dark Templar now getting wiped out off the field. And Monkey Toss, honestly, this is potentially a GG moment. He's down, He's got one third the supply of Byaxers, trying to desperately redrop that Nexus, but he's not going to be able to hold it. And a third Nexus is already getting built by Byaxter in the upper right-hand corner. So kind of a back and forth one here. Another High Templar being produced, but without that Caldarian amulet, amulet, I can't say that for half a second for some reason, without that upgrade, without the energy upgrade, we'll call it that way, he's not going to have Scythestorm for quite some time. We got two more High Templar, or two more Dark Templar, I think, queued up here. Maybe? Never mind. These are actually queued from Byaxter, and we have no Observer the opposite side. So just two cans detecting on the low ground. Not that it matters, because Byaxter crashing into the natural. Looks like there was some size storm with that High Templar, which maybe I missed the upgrade, or maybe he was out a little bit earlier than I thought. <clears throat> but, yeah, going to be forced down to the low ground. This is five Dragoons, which is plenty to take out this Nexus. Observer sweeping just along that left-hand edge, just making sure that nothing else was grabbed. The High Templar waiting, and there will be some size storm. These are bunched up Dragoons, but a single size storm will not be sufficient to wipe them out. Ooh, does manage to get one. The Dragoons trying to march their way up. The Archon's away ways from morphing, and even if Monkey Toss gets this base up, this is going to be three bases versus two, and he's down a massive amount of workers. An unbelievable amount of workers. Byaxter can just go ahead. If he just sits back and drops the gateway, I think he's kind of asleep at the wheel right at this second. Feels like he's won it firmly, and so he's going to toy with his food a little bit here, potentially. Monkey Toss fighting to the last bit. The Dragoon suiciding in. Now deciding. Never mind. Now some Dark Templar moving in. Tit for tat. And with that Dark Templar on the field, the probe scrambling once again. And we're getting to the... Okay, we're at the 13 minute mark. <clears throat> Another four minutes or... Well, actually, it might be longer than that because this has been a lower than usual worker count. We're, we're going to see an... In are we going to see an inverted cannon? Never mind, that was a pylon dropped by Monkey Toss. He's hoping to drop cannons on the high ground. He needs to get an uh, observatory out just to start retaking territory. Never mind, gonna finally GG right there. Bayaxer takes game one, although it was a struggle. I'll tell you what. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.